so hello everybody it is a friday again can you believe it so it is time for another dax fridays where we go through a new dax function every friday my name is ruth Sora from curva.com and uh, in today's video we're going to talk about time intelligence for physical calendars and you know i'll show you I'll, i have shown you before how to do time intelligence with normal calendars now we're going to do it with physicals and this is it's not a hack and it's not a trick because this is built in in the function but if you don't know it you might be doing all kinds of black magic in DAX to get this and it's easier than that so here we are Power BI Northwind dataset the one that we always use completely free to use I have a link down below on how to get a hold on this data set and also you can download it at downloadcenter.curval.com. Okay, so you will be able to download this file if you want to. So let's take a look at the year to date function. For example, one of the functions, you, you might want to do all the things previous year, and you know. But just as an example, if we go here to a blank page, we put the calendar and then on the order details, I have already a year to date calculation for a custom, for a normal calendar and this is the way it goes it says total year to date and then you put sales and then you put the calendar date from the calendar table again i have a video go check it out down there and up there if we put this as a bar chart it becomes so clear what it does so it accumulates sales and it starts from the first day of the calendar and then it goes all the way up to the 31st of December and you see it here 31st of December resets itself and then it starts accumulating again until the next 31st of December which goes down and then up okay now great what happens if your calendar is not a current calendar but is a fiscal calendar which happens for a lot of businesses especially in financial departments so if we go here new measure put it in there and then here we write fiscal when can i copy tax measures please okay enough of that so we're, how do we do it when we have a fiscal calendar here's the thing look at this magic comma we put here six 30. So we give the last day of our fiscal calendar, not the first one, the last one. And you're going to see what happens now. We put the date in there, we put our new fiscal thing there, we put it as a bar chart, and you see that it moved? This is July, July. How easy is that? And then you can put like that or you can put like 30th June or you can put you you can put it in any way that it converts into a date okay uh, that is fantastic I mean how easy it is to work with fiscal calendars this way now let me show you so here is a total year to date function uh, that uh, we used and here is where the magic happens. It says year and date. And it says a string with a date that defines the year and date. The year and, remember, you have to put the last day of your calendar. So if your fiscal calendar starts on September, then you put the 31st of August. And here it says that the syntax for that, because I was wondering that, the syntax for that, it, it is, um, yeah depending on the original settings that you have on your power bi file here's the thing i have well i i don't it changes all the time i don't know why i put it in english and it just does something else but here in the original settings it says that it's swedish sweden even though i have it in english but here in the original settings for global it says use windows display language i think that's why it's in english and application language don't know but I'm using the American format and it's working. So you'll have to check if you have all the original settings and you see that this is not working and pro try different formats because they don't say here which format you need to use with other original settings, unfortunately. But probably you know. Here's what they say. You can use this format, you can use this format or that format. 
any format basically that you know Power BI understands and converts to a date. But it says that it's better to use the month day, uh, like here, month day uh, format. Or maybe if you are in Europe, you have day month. Or you know, try try different versions. <laughs> it, it, it should work. Um, so can I do this only for total year to date? No, you can do it for any year function. Look at that. Obviously, the total quarter to date, no. But total year to date works. Look, the start of the year, no, that doesn't work. Uh, previous year, here we have it. We go up and we have maybe parallel period has it. No. Opening balance year, here we have it. So that has that function. We go to next year. It has it. We go to bum, 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 end of year. It has it. Why end of year, not start of year? Maybe it's wrong in the documentation. Maybe it allows for it. I don't know. We'll try another day. Date year to date. It is in there. You have closing balance year. You have it there. So any time intelligence function that is you know, that has a year intelligence of it, you can put the fiscal parameter there to do fiscal calcul calculations and fiscal calendars. So I hope this, it's not a tip, but I, I hope this is useful if you're working with calendars because otherwise you start to, you know, you have to do a lot of date add and previous whatever magic, which is not when it is, this simple. Okay, taking my bread uh, offer today. I'll see you again on Monday and uh, have a great weekend. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video.